insolvency resolution process on default of repayment of financial debt is covered under the section 7 of the insolvency and bankruptcy code it provides that a financial creditor can initiate corporate insolvency resolution process notably he can do this without issuing a notice to the corporate debtor saying that he has defaulted in repaying the financial debt this is significant it is a paradigm shift all he has to do is to file an application with the adjudicating authority that is the relevant tribunal immediately upon occurrence of default and post filing dispatch a copy of petition filed with the tribunal to the corporate debtors registered office insolvency and bankruptcy code seeks to increase the likelihood of corporate debtors financial distress detected early the court aim is to enhance the chances of resolving corporate insolvency keeping this objective in mind subsection 1 of section 7 provides that any financial creditor can move an application before the adjudicating authority in respect of any financial debt significantly it is not necessary that a financial creditor moves the authority only if there is a default in payment towards his debt he can move the adjudicating authority and initiate corporate insolvency resolution process against the corporate debtor if such a debtor defaults in paying any financial creditor let me illustrate this for you abc corporation has taken loan from three banks let's say it has taken credit of 10 million from state bank of india 20 million from punjab national banks and 30 million from HDFC bank if abc defaults in repaying sbi's loan then not only sbi but punjab national bank or hdfc can also approach the tribunal against the corporate debtor abc for initiating the corporate insolvency resolution process the object behind this is early detection of financial distress of corporate debtor this in turn will lead to possibility of an early solution for resolution of the distress now the question arises how will other creditors know that there exist other financial debts against the same debtor to overcome this hurdle insolvency regular regulator ibbi that is your insolvency and bankruptcy board of india has come out with the ibbi information utilities regulations of 2017 with these regulations the access to information related to financial debt and repayment of financial debt by corporate debtor is sought to be available in timely manner to each of the financial creditor of the corporate debtor let's hope that the availability of the transparent information will serve the court's objectives prevention is better than cure this preventive measure ensures three things first the insolvency of the corporate debtor doesn't worsen second the assets are not put under distress and third the credit advance does not become a non performing asset you must remember that the objective behind the code is to reduce the non performing assets and to maximize the value of the distressed asset it must be clear to you that a financial creditor can initiate corporate insolvency resolution process not only for default and payment of his own loan or credit amount but also for default in repayment of debt of any other financial creditor 